a very warm welcome to Moor Lane in Salford for match number seven in the National League this season. Barrow making the trip to Salford today. And once again, that lineup is as follows. Just the one change from the victory at the weekend against Braintree. Connor Brown comes in in place of Jack Bartram. So the lineup is as follows in goal. Andy Firth, a back four of Connor Brown, Dan Jones, Josh Granite, and Lee Molyneux. A three man midfield Jason Taylor, Josh Kay, and John Rooney with Jack Hindle, Tyler Smith, and Nathan Watterson up front. Josh Granite, though, able to flip the ball back to Connor Brown. Forward again, looking for Smith. Here's Gianni, gets up with the header. Now Waterston into John Rooney. Rooney sends a good cross-field ball. Lee Molyneux, if he can get it under control, could get something going here for Barrow. Molyneux on this left-hand side. Takes advantage of a slip from Wiseman. Pulls it back to Kay. Kay, edge of the area for Barrow. Tees up Jason Taylor, has a shot on goal. Well taken, though, by Chris Neal, but best move of the game so far from Barrow. It's 1-0. Yeah, they certainly um, they've played themselves into the game and they're playing some lovely football and uh, they've obviously realised there's a few weaknesses down that right-hand side and Nathan Watson's found himself a bit of space and Tyler Smith drifted over there and, you know, got half a yard, took on his man, got into the penalty area and I was waiting for him to let fly but unfortunately, you know, that he, uh, he laid it off to Nathan Watson but Nathan didn't panic, he kept control of the ball, composed himself, laid it to the edge of the box and it came to Jason Taylor and he fired the ball goal-bound and into the back of the net, picked that one out, 1-0 Barrow. 1-0 the scoreline, 22 minutes played here at Moore Lane. Jason Taylor, the opening goal scorer for the Bluebirds, his first goal of the season for Barrow. Barrow now getting possession back, an opportunity maybe here, as Tyler Smith wins it, onto Jack Kindle inside the area, tried to get away from Piergiani, maybe should have looked to go outside him there instead of inside him. And he's able to get his foot onto the ball and the opportunity breaks down. Played 28 minutes in this first half here at Moore Lane. Full goes the ball, looking for Waterston, headed away there by Piergiani. Now it's flipped on by Jason Taylor, trying to find a gold shirt, but once again it's Salford in the red, he'll bring the ball away with Danny Whitehead. Out to Tom Walker, plays a quick pass back to Whitehead again, who gets away from John Rooney. Still going with the ball, Whitehead plays it to Rooney, on the edge of the area, Rooney takes a shot on goal, nestles it into the bottom corner of the goal, and that is certainly what he's the target for, that's what he's capable of. And he slots the ball in with ease. And 29 minutes played here. It's now Salford 1, Barrow 1. Yeah, we just didn't get our foot in, in midfield, did we? And a couple of no, a nice build-up play from Whitehead down that mid, down the centre of midfield. And we closed him down, but we just didn't let him didn't get a challenge in. And uh, he played the ball right across the square square to Rooney. And Rooney, a uh, great first touch to get out of his feet. And then he struck it with his right foot into the bottom left-hand corner, giving Firth no chance. And it's disappointing because Barrow are on top. Molyneux throws the ball back to Dan Jones. Now Dan Jones, edge of his own area, takes the ball away from Gaffney, but then he gets caught in possession and it fell to Adam Rooney, who should have done a lot better there with that opportunity. On this right hand side, launches it into the box, comes to Gaffney. Gaffney back to Danny Loyal, curl shot on goal, taken very well there by Andy Firth. Just while we're saying that, breaking away again and Hindle gets the ball into the area, pulls the ball across and again, too close to Chris Neal and Salford again looking to break. Still plays in there though, but can cause Barrow some danger. Corner swung in by Danny Lloyd. Nathan Pong gets up with a header and Nathan Pong puts it into the bottom corner of the goal and Barrow switching off again from the ball in the box and it's another goal conceded from a header as Nathan Pong puts it into the bottom corner and it's now Salford 2, Barrow 1. Just before that corner was taken, I noticed Nathan Pond was moving around the uh, edge of the D and the ball came across and Pond has just dr drifted to the far post and headed it goal bound. And it's a breakthrough for Salford, taking the lead, coming back from behind. Now leading here at Moor Lane goal. Walker up against Connor Brown, now Toure into the box it goes, just above Gaffney. Shouts for handball there against Jack Hindle. Now the linesman's flagging and a penalty has been given. 
Yeah, the ball came across and the fans by us all appeared for a penalty. I don't know how, because we certainly couldn't see from our angle. But the linesman has flagged on the far side and must have adjudged it's hit Hindle. It's unfortunate if it is because it's come over at real pace. A bit more to ball, to hand than hand to ball if it has struck him. And of course, took the lead in the first half through Jason Taylor, pegged back by Adam Rooney. And Nathan Pond putting them two on in front as a penalty is taken. Andy Firth gets his hand to it, can't keep it out though. And Danny Lloyd has made it Salford three, Barrow one. Well, it's, you could see it coming, couldn't you? you know, in the moment that Barrow conceded that second goal, it's, it's lifted the home team, it's lifted the home support, and it's just unfortunate. If it struck his arm coming across, we're um, going to see a bit of character for Barrow lads now. They've got, they're going to have to come from two goals now, and they've not played particularly badly in this game, but we really need to create some chances now and, and respond straight away. And three balls a whistle, Rooney takes a corner short to Molyneux. Now it's back again to John Rooney. Rooney finds a shot at goal, can't get it on target though. And it's still 3-1. Yeah, positive response from Barrow. No, we carved out a couple of good corners and a couple of half chances, but the Barrow had a good little pass to play then. As John Rooney takes the corner short to Lee Molyneux. Molyneux, corner of the area, tees it up to Josh Kay. Kay has a shot from distance, can't get it on target though. And it's going to be another goal kick. Jones back again to Granite again, playing the ball across the back barrel, just trying to find a bit of space. Now finds Connor Brown. Brown into John Rooney. Rooney rolls it into Burgess. Heavy first touch from Burgess, but does manage to get the ball under control. Now tees it up again to Rooney. Rooney, edge of the box, curls a shot at goal. John Rooney can't get it on target though, and again, it's a goal kick. Certainly does fancy his, himself in these ranges, but looks as though he's backing away. And it's going to be the left foot of Lee Molyneux. Through the wall by Molyneux. Good save by the goalkeeper who smothers it up with the second attempt. But John Rooney to take this free kick here for Barrow. Line of gold shirts inside the box. Salford have everybody back. As Rooney takes a free kick into the area. Tyler Smith throws himself at it. Couldn't get contact on it. Agonisingly flashes across the front of his face. And out of play it goes for a goal kick. Free kick taken short by Lloyd to Mathuta, who'll just stand in the corner with the ball. And the referee blows the final whistle to bring an end to the game. This afternoon, a defeat for the Bluebirds on the road. Still looking for that first win on the road this season, Barrow. It could have been so much different, taking the lead early on in the game. Jason Taylor putting Barrow 1-0 up. It is defeat on the road again for Barrow. My thanks to Matt Ryder for joining me here at Moor Lane this afternoon. But unfortunately, it is another defeat for Barrow. It has finished here at Moor Lane. Salford 3, Barrow 1.